them down! You want finish? Let's see what we've got here. Symbol. Not one of the three we're looking for, but it matches the one in that shrine we visited. Another crest of a Hoysala king. Someone went to a lot of trouble to hide this. I hope that was productive. Found another token. Well, so long as we visit the other two forts, I'm good. talking about oh right oh when people have low expectations it's much easier to take them by surprise as far as I'm concerned this business is tough enough on your own you have to take any advantage you can you always worked alone mostly how old were you when you started young learned quickly enough I needed to let people think they were getting their way and then I could get the upper hand. Too subtle for me. I always prefer the direct approach. Yeah, whatever works, I say. Give me a second. I can wait. to move this. Time to go. Fraser, want to climb it with me? I'll keep watch for Assault's forces.
I'll be right back. You got it. Let's go. Tight. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Up and away. So far, so good. all the fun. <sighs> Nearly there. <clears throat> all three symbols, all in one place. Nice. Parashurama's bow. Let's see here. Aimed right at those Hoysala ruins. It's an old fortress sitting smack dab in the middle of the lake bed. I'll jot a bow on the map in that spot. Let's see what's behind the axe door. Glad to be done with those statues. <sighs> Been there, done that. Last but not least, the Trident. And another old fortress, just beyond those waterfalls. Trident mark on the map for you. Was it worth a climb? Definitely. All three symbols up top, each pointing to a different structure. No kidding. 
So we know where else we need to visit now. Indeed we do. All set. The rebels beat us here. Look up there. Parashrama's bow. Matches the symbol in the tower. So, Parashrama... Parashurama? Parashurama. Right. Who was he again? Okay. Six avatar of the god Vishnu. A fearsome warrior. Copy that. Once more, with gusto. <laughs> Shithole, finally. I was starting to think the boss was all talk. I'd watch your mouth. Sorry. Soon it won't matter. Once we have the task, the people will follow like sheep. Yeah, even the mighty Indian army will tremble. I can't wait. It's Razor! That's it. We're clear. Here come the others. You boys really don't want me shooting from down here. No escaping me now. Okay. We're all clear. Won't be the last of them. There's a big truck parked out front. We'll keep our eyes open. We'd better. We'd walk right on the cliff. You do have a sense of humor. I would have preferred a head start as a stop. Not much we can do. Besides, doesn't matter who starts, only who finishes. Follow me!
Nadine, four friends up ahead. They don't know we're here. Good. Amazing, all things considered. How are you so relaxed? Didn't you hear those gunshots? I did. You worry too much. Our brothers are trained by Asav himself. Uh, I'm keeping my safety off, just in case. Mine was never on. What? I spotted something. Look into it. Yeah, all right. Nothing over there? Clear over here. Did you find something? It's gone, whatever it was. What's that? Oh shit, what they've the made us. We've got this. Not alone. Spread out and look. Grenade! Ah, shit. They've made us. We've them. got this. You're mine! Are we clear? We're clear. Good. Good to be clear. Let's press on. Just what I was going to say. Here we go. Perfect. That should do it. Oh, definitely. Figured you'd want to take the easy way over. Beg your pardon? Doing all right? I'm fine. Just don't get started without me. Sure. Wouldn't dream of it. Okay, guess this isn't the way in. Oh, 
There you are, having fun. Just like the monkey bars in primary school. I'd say this looks safer than the playground at my school. Oh, nearly there. Made it. I'm impressed. You're impressed. I'm tired. Let's get this done. All right. I'm guessing it'll be a bird this time. Good guess. Sharama. Right. Let's turn the water on. Whoa, well, whoa. Well, what's to say it's not different this time? What if it's fire or something? You're messing with me. I'm totally messing with you. <laughs> Here we go. Mm hmm. Oh. I'm a little disappointed it wasn't fire. Another waterfall. Yeah. It's two out of three now. Also, I went to an absurd amount of trouble to hide the tusk. Well, the tusk was the symbol of Hoysala dominance, representing their wealth and their might. A nice trophy for the Persians. Yeah. My dad always thought that the tusk was something even greater, though. Your dad was after the tusk? Oh, my dad was obsessed with it. He spent every day and night researching it. All our money wasted on fruitless expeditions. Heard that one before. Ugh. So what came of it? I don't know. Well, he sent me and my mum away. He said it was no longer safe. And off to Australia we went. <laughs> and now here I stand, on the outskirts of Halibadu. That's... pretty funny. And the last fort's nestled above the falls. The one with the trident. At least your accent makes sense now. Yeah. Fraser's not exactly an Indian surname either. It was my mum's. Let's find a way to get back down to the car. Sounds good. This is open now. by the falls left. Sounds like a plan. <clears throat> Makes more sense why it solves after the tusk now. Figured he just wanted the money, like us. He'll use it to rally people to his cause, wavered in the government's face. Just like all the others. This has happened before? Oh, yeah. Ever since the young king lost to the Persians, everyone's wanted to lay claim to it, to this land. And here I thought we were just going on a treasure hunt. We are. Let men like Asab fight over it. 
It's none of our concern. Fighting wars was my concern for a time. Good point. But you did it for the cash. Usually. What about when you worked for a star? <laughs> Definitely a cash grab. Hardly worth the trouble. Ouch. Why do it then? Needed to establish my rep, eh? Figured I'd stop with the worst of the bunch. Nowhere to go but up after that. Beautiful out here. Is this your first visit to India? Yeah. Not a lot of perks in this line of work, but travel is definitely one of them. Where have you been? Uh, where haven't I been? Whichever question works for you. Well, I haven't been to the States. Really? Yeah, well, the stuff I'm looking for is usually old, right? The US was only founded a couple of hundred years ago. True. What about you? Where do you want to go? Iceland. Nice choice. Beautiful there. Well, it's quiet. I'm spoiled. And I want to see those northern lights. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's on the bucket list, too. You should go when we're done here. Someday. Have other things to attend to first. Watch out. The rebels might be here already. I'm just going to take a look around. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. There's a little cave over there. Can't hide from me. Another token for my collection. A bit of sightseeing. That's the hunt. <laughs> Check it out. It's Ganesh's trident. Spotted this on the tower, too. Ganesh, remover of obstacles. Is the gate secured? Not yet. Got back. Waiting on Let's Cobra just keep this quiet as long as we can. Hey, 
Saw something. Hey! They are here! They're spotted! There is no way out! Try it! Getting touchy, huh? Uh. Touch the area. I found them. Think that's a lot of them. You all right? Fine. Just thinking of all the ways that could have gone better. See, I'm thinking about how it could have gone worse. Much more positive outlook, sort of. Okay. Let's go find our giant water faucet. Sounds good. Hmm. Okay, that's not it. <laughs> no, this. What's the trick here? What? Look like a button. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a go at something. That's a good sound. One of the spokes on the wheel just turned around. Huh. The locks are retracting when I turn the wheels. So then there's probably five in total. Four to go then. Now 
How about you? That's two. Found you. Only one left. Last but not least, that should do it. Okay, back to the big wheel thing. The big wheel thing? Whatever the archaeological term for it is. The big wheel thing works. Come on. Looks like we're going under. Radio. <laughs> There's our faucet. One trident coming up. Not fair. It's Ganesh. Hello, sir. Come on, let's get this over and done with. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. See, I told you it was dangerous. You hurt. Just my dignity. <sighs> Here we go. Let there be water. And now that's three. You know, you're pretty good at this whole treasure hunting thing. I'm a quick study. Mm. One question, though. I reckon that you could pretty much do anything you want. Why are you so keen to get Shoreline back? Seriously? Mm. My partner tends my own men against me. My lieutenant makes off with a bounty. Nathan and Samuel Drake get off scot-free and you're asking why I want Shoreline back. Yeah. was on my watch. I lost it on my watch. All right, what the hell is that thing you keep playing with? It's my stress toy. It showed up in the mail a few weeks after we got to Australia. All right, we better get a move on. We don't want to solve to get ahead of us. You know, I've had my fair share of screw-ups. <laughs> you just pick yourself up and move on. I don't like a fail. No one does, love.
Right. All right. Let's find a way out. Last one back to the car buys dinner. I brought him already. Right. You're no fun. people fan out Things are those. No real combat. Ah. Slightly impulsive. Run around the field like a maniac. You need to learn what short control first means. Alright. Lost. Wearing red in a jungle combat scenario. I'm in serious. anywhere else out there. Now's the time to do it. Right. Look, for what it's worth, it's your kick-ass reputation. We got you this job. Plus, I figured you could use the money. You're not wrong. Honestly, though, it's actually nice working with a woman for a change. <laughs> Too rot. Not many of us out here. This one arms dealer demanded to speak to the man in charge, then tried backing out when I informed him I was running the show. Uh, what did you do? Broke both his legs. <laughs> You're not kidding. Just trying to level the playing field. Oh, don't cross Ross. <laughs> I should put that one on my business card. Can't you just walk away to be done with Shoreline? I was born in Tucson. I don't have a choice. Oh, there's always a choice. Hold on. 
Careful, more of Asov's forces. Shall we? Oh, I'm in. Magnificent. How long do you suppose it takes to carve something like this? Years. Decades, even. Oh, Salah certainly did have a knack for stonework. And the war, it seems. That too. They must have made these to commemorate their victories against the Persians. Looks like they put up a good fight. They did. Pity it didn't last. But their loss is our gain, right? That carving looks familiar. That carving is an exact match for the disc. So what does that mean? I don't know yet. But I'm guessing we should give that a try. Should we dance? Try not to break at this point. Sassy. What the hell? Just, um, taking it all in. 